Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Mother. In the last episode we went ahead and saved Pippi, the lost girl from the graveyard, and in this episode with a new bat in hand, the uh, t-ball bat, we're going to leave north to the zoo because apparently there's a problem happen happening there as well. So while we're heading up here, I'm just going to try to strike up conversation. I have this list of conversation topics that I usually bring to my recording, but I don't have it on me. I might get it real quick. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I remember in the first video, I was going to talk about YouTube Shorts. Basically, they're just short 60 second videos that, you know, you can scroll through and, yeah, you just go through and you upload it as a YouTube video alongside your other videos. And I was just gonna post clips of my videos to it. By the time you're seeing it, I've posted clips of each one of the first three videos as long as along with two other Mario Odyssey ones. But anyways. Oh hey, we learned a new PSI in battle. Let's see. Defense down alpha. So last time we got defense up alpha, now we got defense down alpha. So we have this sign right here, Cream Puff Zoo, 700 meters west. Okay, we're heading west to the zoo, and I wasn't making enough puns in the previous two videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a pun right here. What would you call it- oh, crud. Okay, uh, what would you call it if our main character, Nintend, had a Homer Simpson-themed Nintendo Entertainment System? A Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm lame. Anyways, we have this monkey here. The monkey stole the zoo key, and we can o go ahead and break open the lock, or it's already broken. In the NES version, we break open the lock. This one, it's less cool. It was just already broken. Got another music change. I forget if this is the same music from the graveyard. Anyways, we want to make our way through here, and so this is an elephant, and this is probably one of the toughest enemies in the zoo. Because of that attack. Oh, it only does one damage. There, there's some sort of attack in here that it can do that can take away a lot of HP. I probably should have healed up before I came here. In fact, you know what? After this battle, I'm going to be right back so I can go ahead and heal up. Oh hey, I got up to level 9. Fight went up by 3. Speed went up 2. Wisdom 2. Strength went up 3. Force went up 2. Max HP 6, max PP 3. Okay, I'll be right back once I'm fully healed up. Oh hey, Nintendo leveled up! Fight up 2, speed 3, wisdom 2, strength 3, force 3, max HP 13, max PP 3. Okay, now I'm actually gonna be back. Nintendo learned a new PSI! What is this? Dimension Warp. So this is called the 4th D slip in the NES version, and it basically just allows you to run away from any battle. You already have the run option, but it doesn't always work. In fact, most of the time you can bet on it not working, so you can't bet on it. My word choice is weird. Anyways, basically you can run away at any time, you just need a lot of PP. Oh my, you're hurt. I'll make you some steak, Nintendo. Eat some and scoot up to bed. I don't think I've actually shown what happens when you talk to your mom, but yeah, she's basically just free healing. But, uh, after you leave town, it's a real chore to get back to here afterwards, so you don't want to go back to her a lot. Okay, I'm back at the zoo. Can't wait to run into a million random encounters in here. But yeah, the enemies are really tough here, so I'd suggest at least try leveling up a little bit if you're on the NES version. I don't like XP grinding in video games and stuff like that, but this game's really tough if you're not playing on the GBA version. So these are the hyenas, they usually come in packs. This one is a pack of three. They're pretty easy to defeat though. The last time I said that with the Mr. Baddies, it became a YouTube short.
and that's the last of the hyena. I don't know why I said without an S there, but Nintendo leveled up. Fight went up 2, Speed 2, Wisdom 3, Strength 2, Force 3, Max HP 6, and Max PP 1. So if we move up here, we have some uh, flamingos there. I was gonna say swans. And we have this sign right here with an empty cage. The world's only singing monkey right here at Cream Puff Zoo. How ironic. So, that's missing, and the music in the background isn't just for display. There's actually some sort of weird noise that's making all of the animals go berserk, and that's why they're attacking us, and that's why the singing monkey is missing. Cream Puff Zoo, Manager's Office. So yeah, this is the noise that's driving all the animals insane, and honestly, can't blame them. Open the present, found antidote. Also, in the GBA version, I don't know if this is the in the NES version, but whenever you're in a, a dangerous situation, if you press, if you choose the check feature, danger seems to be lurking nearby. So if I'm trying to open a chest and you see that message pop up, just know it's that. Also, this building has the easiest enemies in the world, and then it has a mini boss. We'll get to that mini-boss later, I'm just gonna check out these rooms. So this is the flies. They either come in a larger group or just one at a time. If they come one at a time, then they're gonna be pretty easy to defeat because then they can't call for help. But if they come two at a time, then there's a good chance that the second one will call for help. Thankfully it didn't, and we can take it down with ease. Found bread, but you can't hold any more stuff. Uh, what do I have here? I'll drink another orange juice. Recovered by 10, and I'll take the bread. I think this is the final floor. I'm gonna head into the right one first, see if there's anything in here. Found medicine. I'll go ahead and... I'll drink the last orange juice, the last one that our sister gave us, and we didn't recover anything, that's, that's sad, but hey, we got some stuff along the way. The orange juice sustained us for a while, a lot more than I was expecting. Suddenly, there's some weird Dr. Mario looking capsule, I'm sure every Let's Player ever has made that joke. Something leapt out of the capsule. Starman Jr. suddenly attacked. These are a recurring enemy in the Mother series, and this one's pretty tough if you don't have defense up alpha, so you want to go ahead and get that just in case. I don't know why I said that weird. I say a lot of things weird. We want to do defense up alpha. Defense went up by 60, and we took 29 damage from that, so yeah, that's with defense up alpha. We're gonna go ahead and heal up real quick, and then we'll attack. So yeah, we just take one damage from that. And Starman Jr. dodged quickly, of course it did. So now this is just a... This is just me trying to keep myself alive while fighting the thing. We took 25 damage, we could probably survive another one before I use Life of Alpha. And looks like we need to use Life of Alpha. Covered by 32. In a defensive stance. That'll be funny if we, we knocked it out when it was doing the defensive stance. That's hilarious. The strange sound. The strange sound driving the animals crazy stopped. The zoo is safe once more. So yeah, now that the sound has stopped, we can go ahead and walk around the zoo without being attacked by elephants and hyenas. And since the noise is gone. The singing monkey is back! The world's only singing monkey right here at Cream Puff Zoo. The singing monkey sang with passion. Nintendo learned the melody. So yeah, we have three of the eight melodies already. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and end off the video once I get back to Mother's Day. I'll probably be able to get back there pretty easily considering that the zoo animals are gone and I can one-shot pretty much anything at Mother's Day, so I'll let you know when I'm back there. 
Okay, I'm back, and I decided to stop by our house real quick and heal up here, and since I can use the telephone for free to save, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But I just realized, I don't think I've ever shown you what happens when you call your dad, so let's go ahead and do that. Ninten picked up the telephone. Ninten, it's your dad. I've deposited $1,004 into your bank account. Jesus. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $1,312 in the bank. Use it wisely. Let's see, to get to the next level, you need 152 XP. Anyways, what do you need from me? I'll go ahead and save. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn off the power off now. Alright. So yeah, after that, you'd be led to the title screen, and yeah, that's pretty much what happens when you talk to your dad, so I'll go ahead and end off the video for here. Thank you guys so much for watching, in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and just see what else we can do. I mean, we pretty much saved the entirety of Mother's Day, we saved him from the zoo thing, we pretty much saved them from the graveyard thing, and we've also returned Laura's baby chick to her. We've pretty much done everything we could possibly do here, so in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and just see what we can do. I said that twice, but who cares? We're ending on a cheerful note. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye